Hi, uh, my name is Kerry and I have just started the Forever Neutraline Programme 9 Day Detox Cleanse. Um, I wanted to do a honest review that um, gave an accurate account of how this actually detox affects a normal person because I have looked at quite a few of the reviews online, on YouTube specifically, and they seem to be a little bit in favour of how wonderful it is, how great it tastes and all the rest of it. And really looking into it, I think a lot of the people giving these reviews are actually people that sell the product. Um, I'm nothing to do with this company at all. I'm just a normal person that needs to lose some weight and um, I just thought I'd give an honest review. So anyway, uh, so I got the Clean 9 for a Cleaner You, it's called. Um, inside that you get quite a lot of stuff actually. Um, you get the brochure which gives you all the information on what's inside the box. You get the aloe vera gel, you get a couple of bottles of that. Um, you get the Forever Bee Pollen. Um, you get the... Oh, the protein powder is amazing, it's so tasty. Um, Forever Light Ultra Protein Powder, which you just mix with skimmed milk. Um, you get the Forever Garcinia Plus, you get the bee pollen, I I said that, and you get a really cool shaker with a little pill compartment underneath and another compartment for your protein powder. So um, day one was, uh, not as hard as I thought it would be. It wasn't fun though. I was hungry, um, but I didn't have stomach pain from where I was hungry. Every time it got to the stage where I thought, oh God, I had to have another shot of the aloe vera or some pills anyway. So it seemed to leapfrog in between being hungry, I'm okay, being hungry, I'm okay. Um, I would say on a scale of one to 10, 10 being everything's brilliant, I was probably about a seven, it was actually, it was alright, but last night, bedtime, I was proper hungry. And in the night, I was sweating, I was alert, and then really sleepy, and then wide awake, and then really sleepy. That was a little bit annoying, so I didn't have a great night's sleep, but, um, you know, it's a detox. I'm going to feel a little bit ropey. But I got on the scales this morning and lost four pounds already, which is fantastic. Um, and day two I thought would be worse. Actually, I feel pretty good today. So that's a really a really good thing. I feel all right. Um, I am uh, filling out the little brochure, which they give you every day. So they ask you to put your weight. Um, they ask you to do 20 minutes of exercise um, a day, which I just go on my walking machine. I don't run. I just walk fast. Um, and it asks you to fill it on your daily status your hunger level mine was a four out of five energy level was two to three it was all right motivation definitely five confidence five I, I know that this is going to work because i've not heard anything bad about it but i just felt that the reviews were really positive but i can't see how anybody can all be so positive there has to be a downside to any detox and i just thought i'd be a little bit more honest and the main thing that I wanted to say, which nobody else has addressed at all, is quite simply, the magic ingredient, the aloe vera gel, which they sell millions of, so I know it is good for you, tastes, oh, unbelievably vile. I can't even tell you how awful this is. But it's obviously doing its job because they sell so much of it and it's a massive, massive company. And it's a detox. It's not gonna be as nice as a chocolate milkshake or something. So, you know, needs must, kill or cure. So yeah, day two today, um, I've had my Garcia Plus capsules, my bee pollen, my water. I'm just about to have my protein shake, which I've been really looking forward to today. Um, God, they are delicious. They just taste like the sweetest vanilla ice cream. They're really, really good. They're really good. And I would definitely be buying them again. 
Um, um, and then later on I've got um, loads more bee pollen and Garcinia pills to take and aloe vera which I'm not looking forward to but it's good, it's all good. Um, I feel good, I feel really really well. Um, I haven't had a single headache which I was expecting because I drink a lot of tea and coffee, decaf um, but they still have loads of sweeteners in and stuff so I thought I might have some sort of withdrawals I'm thinking that the sweats last night were probably some of that rubbish coming up. But actually today, on a scale of 1 to 10, I definitely feel about an 8 or 9, which I didn't expect and I'm really happy with. So all in all, so far so good. Um, I will let you know tomorrow how day 2 went. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.